Happy Fifth Line Day. Fifth Line Days, it's a great day to be practical. It's the messenger day of the rave week, so it's time to be able to put your message out to strangers in right timing. Now, what does right timing talk about when we're talking about the 33? The That's the moon transit. Here we go, current 33. It's about active withdrawal first. That's what 33 is about, gate 33 in the throat center, and the transformation of a weak position into a strength. When you think about what it is to be a five, you're talking about the stamina to be able to find that new way, that heretical way, that practical way to be able to share in this context, share with an other. And when we're talking about abstract circuitry, which is where the gate 33 is, within all human beings who are strongly abstract, hi, that's me too. When you're strongly abstract, as in sensing circuitry, it's a good idea to remember to wait for clarity. Even if you're not emotionally defined, it's a good idea to process, to digest, to take a pause and wait. So especially here when it comes to communicate, communicating, the throat center here in the quarter of civilization, purpose fulfilled through form, being able to share information, information with others, you have to have your, we'll say, experience processed or digested. Digested is a good word, especially if you're emotional. So upon, many of us are like this, I'm one of them. Upon the first experience of something, you might not fully get what is happening. You might not be able to either make sense of it, nor even understand, you know, where it's going to go, the logic of what is just so. And when we come from this space of following our decision-making process or following our strategy and honoring ourselves as our own authority, what happens is we will naturally take space. We will naturally take a pause and be able to withdraw. Now, when we're talking about fifth line here, today's day, if it's a good day, if it's a good day for you to be practically in the public aura or in conversation with people, this is a powerful day to be able to have your message reach out into the collective, especially. If it's right for you, of course, if it's you're in the mood, you got the right attitude, it's time for you to share because remember the fifth, the fifth line here is about timing. And what happens with fives is that people project onto the five that they're going to need a retreat, that they're going to need some space. So these are children who you may potentially say, well, why don't you go to your room and play with your toys? You know, rather than asking them, hey, would you like to go to your room and play with your toys if they're generative? Or maybe inviting the projector to go, you know, study or something like that. You just project that they need space or that maybe they need some time to retreat. This is what the five is all about. Okay, so the five in context, I can see that my camera's not, oh, it's a little bit too high. Sorry about that. Okay, a little better. So oh, when it comes to the five, people project onto fives, right? So Unless it's practical, we who are five need to remember that we have to retreat in order to transform a weak position into a strength. So anybody with abstract in their design, anybody else with abstract, strong abstract in their design, meaning you have either format activations, the 42, the 53, you have any abstract channels, Okay, so any of those sensing circuitry, part of the collective circuitry, it's really important that you take your time to retreat, even if you don't have this gate. Even if you don't have this gate, can you wait and process and not initiate, not until one has re reached clarity, because clarity is so important when it comes to sharing here in the throat center this is a stop codon, the 33 is, at the end of every genetic sentence, is one of three stop codons. And the stop codon in our genetics tells us to retreat so that we have processed the experience, either ours or someone else's, in order for clear communication to happen. So let's go into the line quality now. As you can see, we're going to click on it here. Okay, there we go. 
And the sun, its personality, expression, and life force today is in 33. This is about timing, and Pluto exalts here. The, as important as the timing itself is the ability to keep secret one's intentions until the appropriate moment. In other words, this is the ability to keep one's intentions secret. So if we think about these people, let's imagine a 5-1 or a 5-2. If you know any 5-1s or 5-2s, this also might apply to you, even if you don't have it in this particular uh, gate. When it comes to being a five, it's practical to keep your intention secret. Why? Because what happens with fives, because people expect great things from you, because you have this initial positive projection field, people project onto you, and whatever they project onto you may or may not be true, it's important, especially being abstract, it's important to process, digest, and wait for right timing in order to share. Or in other words, let other people in on the secret. Now, the 13 on the other side, if you don't have that gate as a planetary activation inside of your own design, you may make mistakes with this in that you, can't, you don't learn from the lesson of, hey, wait until the appropriate timing. Wait for the right timing to be able to share. Because it's practical to only let people in on your heresy when it's right timing. And how do we find timing? Timing comes from aligned interaction with others, and that's why strategy and authority and being your own authority is so important. Now, on the flip side, the other side of the spectrum, the other side of the coin, if we're, if we're talking about polar opposites, same gate, same line, but two sides of the same coin, Jupiter detriments here. And this is the tendency to want others to participate in the selection of the timing when it's right for you to share. And this is what is going to lead to confusion because without a sense of the right timing, you'll let the other people in on the secret prematurely and this results in confusion. The resulting confusion of not having right timing when it comes to being practical, when it comes to being able to share what you remember. This is a great gate of revelation. It is the potentiality for each of us to learn from past experience. So that's what this whole week has been about, processing what happened in the past, focusing on looking back at the past, because that's where the direction comes from. The harmonic gate on the other side, 13, fellowship of man. This is the great gate of secret keeping. So if the 13 is correctly designed to keep the secret, the 33 is correctly designed to share or let other people know about the secret. But both lines are talking about you have to be your own authority to know about the right timing in order to share, in order to speak from the experience. This is a whistleblower gate. This is somebody who finds those things that potentially shall not go forward healthfully because it creates confusion. Yeah, it creates a problem. This is a stop codon. This is part of the memory circuit. It's the expression gate of the larger aspect of the memory circuit. 26, 44, 32, 54, 52, 9, 5, 15, to the 13, and up to the 33. So if the 33 is the expression gate of sharing the secret, right? A 13 on the other side. Or sharing the memory I experience, it might say. This is my experience. Or I've seen other people experience this. I too have had that experience. And then, of course, it's always the or not. I have an experience in this realm. That's not my forte. It's not my area of expertise. No. But my other friend, you know my friend, she also had this challenge or a problem. And you know what she learned F over some years is that strategy and authority gives you right timing. Even if you think inside of your head about yourself, it's the wrong timing to share. When you know, when you come from an authentic place, you'll have right timing in order to share. In order to have that initial positive projection field actually do its work. When we think about what it is to be a fifth line, whether you have it in your mind or in your body, 
The word here is impact because the five is the fullest differentiation of a hexagram line. Uh, this line is the fullest differentiation of the hexagram because as we will see when we move to the six line, it's no longer a part of the hexagram. It's something transitional. It's moving beyond. It is not part of the 33's process when it comes to its full maturation stage, its embodiment. It is its own role model. That's what a six line is that we'll talk about the next time. Hopefully I can keep this up. So to say uh, a little bit of uh, wrapping up in just a moment, we're going to go to the 19. And I'll explain a little bit about the polarity um, across the wheel. So there's a mirror across the wheel. There are also mirror gates in the body graph. Every time we go through a transit, every day as the sun moves and we march through space and time spiraling in this existence, across the wheel where that light is going to be grounded is exactly polar opposite in the wheel, and that's 19. So before I do that, I am a non-energy type, in case you're new here. I'm a non-energy type. What does that mean? It means that I'm fueled, because I'm a projector, by recognition, which is mutual recognition, and formal invitation. So over the years, I've gotten clearer and clearer on some things, and maybe not so much on others. They're still in process, still in work. But what I found was that there were a lot of recommendations or um, askings, requests, for more of these transit reports. And the way that I did it before was I was really burning myself out. I tried to do so much, the whole chart, if I had the time and energy. And rather than doing that, as I did a few years ago, neutrino news you can use, if you recall, what I'd like to do this upcoming year is in order to maintain some continuity in context with you, my students, and whoever is learning human design alongside what, with us, I would like to continue these transit reports, but I can't do it without your help. If you could please be so generous as to give this a thumbs up or a like or a share if it's right for you to do so, particularly on the YouTube channel, because that's where I'm going to be focusing my energy and effort. It would be so nice because the more people that we have engaged with the knowledge from directly from Ra Uruhu, and the more we have an asking, so here's my ask to you, if you could please put your particular experience with this gate and this line, especially if it's yours, so that we can hear from people who have this as part of their process, what's it like for you? This is my mental focus. It's part of the way that I find the clarity of guiding the others. Being an advisor who can guide is what a projector is here to do. And I can't do it without you because the way that I've learned over the last 10 years in my practice is taking stuff from Ra, applying it or implementing it. I have a gate uh, 21, line three, so the trial and error business, and then also Asking the question, that's my moon, 61.3. Ask the question, what's it like for you? So rather than having you have to come into a live class, a lot of students over the years have been with me, and maybe there's no live class for you to continually engage with me anymore. I experimented with this for a while, allowing you into my private classes to silent audit, but that didn't solve the problem of I still want to connect with my students, especially over the past decade, who have studied, who are experiencing and experimenting the value that human design brings. So this is my ask of you. If you could help me so kindly and generously recommend the channel to your family, friends, whoever it is that's also studying human design, if it's interesting and engaging. This particular transit might be a little bit too much for them, but you know we have all kinds of information on the YouTube channel and I would be very grateful for your support. Okay, so let's close the 33, the sharing, for sharing's sake, the impersonality, I am impersonal sharing for sharing's sake. As you can see, this is one of Lavina's way of being able to focus on one thing at a time and not get too distracted by a lot of people uh, sharing their, their stories live currently in classes. I will reserve that for my current new students or any, um, those of you who are analysts, uh, in training or already completed analysts, if you've done it with me, you're always welcome to come and actively audit 
if it's right for you to do a little bit of work trade in return, hold space, um, help out, contribute your awareness, your knowing, just reach out, okay? Office at humandesignlifecoaching.com is my uh, our main uh, area of communication privately. Okay, so we can see too that the moon is there, moon conjunct in that gate of 33. And what we're going to do next to, so also a, a double focus, you could say, focus in a reflection to retreat and to process. Again, Ra's recommendation to take some time and space if you're abstract at all, not just with a skate, and to be alone in your own aura so that other people, when it comes to sharing the secret, they don't disturb maybe your calm, your equanimity, your um, intentionality, because it's a good idea if you're a five to maintain your intentions to be a secret until right timing, you know, because of the projection field. So right timing, always strategy and authority. Now, when we go to the grounding, we see that there's this interesting dynamic here. Anytime you see a activation with a little uh, triangle pointing up or down or both, you know then that either that planet in that gate or the harmonic gate across the way within the same channel is affecting that particular expression of the gate into a fixing. This is called a fixing. So as we click on this, we can see it's the Earth grounding stability and balance in gate 19, line 5. And line 5 here, we're now in the root center pointed over to the emotional intelligence of the solar plexus, we're looking at the line of sacrifice. Do you resonate with that if you're a five? Do you see, do you know that fives can sacrifice, that they have not only stamina, they have this capability of being able to, and here's the learning that they're going through in this particular one, especially we're looking at the need to limit personal potential in order to achieve a larger goal. That's what fives are here for. They can limit their personal potential in order to achieve a larger goal. Now, that's not something they're necessarily born with at all. The fifth line, whenever we see a bold blue, we know it's going to take some time. The fifth line of sacrifice in gate 19 is going to mature through this process to learn about limiting their personal potential in order that they can be impactful. In other words, achieve a larger goal. What would the larger goal be talking about here? Because it's tribe. It is about the support of others. Yeah. The needs or wants of others within the tribal context. So, the, you can see the little earth there is fixing it into the exaltation. And the exaltation says the self-restraint fundamental to such a nature. Energy to keep one's sensitivities restrained. And so if you know any 19s in your life and they have the fifth line, they may not have it in earth, but they have the fifth line. You'll see on one side of the spectrum that they have the energy to keep their sensitivities restrained. Maybe they got their feelings hurt, but for the larger goal, let's say the um, pleasantness or the success of any relationship, be it business or the mating, bonding, because this is the drive to want to live in communal um activities like marriage and such. What you're looking at are people who have restraint or can learn to develop restraint. Okay. Now, if it's not, that's today, that's what's going on today. So you might find that you're able to do this if it's right for you, if you want to try it and see if it's true. Now, on the other side, Jupiter detriment. So if you personally have Jupiter in the 33 or you've got Jupiter in the 13, here you're going to ext extremely experience the wide end of the spectrum on both, either this or that, no gray area, no in between, because your own Jupiter is fixing that planetary temporary transit activation into the detriment and it reads the tendency in sacrifice to condescend sacrifice can fuel a lack of sensitivity a lack of sensitivity so a lack of sensitivity when it comes to others needs a lack of sensitivity when it comes to others wants is this something that you're learning from today would love to know post a comment down below 
All right. If you have any questions, feel free to also post comments. Again, I ask and invite for you to share with me, how can I improve this experience for you? I tried um, using my laptop the other day to stream to my network. It's www.humandesign.live if you'd like to join us for some live classes and live engagement with others who are dedicated to mastering this system, not only personally, but also professionally. I've had that um, domain for many years, but put it on the Mighty Networks about four years ago more than four years now. So it's it's quite a wonderful group of people that we have had in our process of learning and growth and development using the human design system. Okay, so that hopefully this has been an, an improvement here for you guys over there. And I'll always be facing the YouTube channel. This is YouTube, the human design system. Look for um, the information there to subscribe and maybe even sign up if it's right for you, not just to subscribe free, but I also have a new um, membership area where it's your potential to get videos first, lots of extra content, lots of new content, lots of content that is potentially very helpful to you either personally, individually, or in relationship with others, or professionally. Those are the three different subscriptions I have to offer at this time. And I'm open to your requests. I'm open to your recognitions. How can we make this a more fun experience for you? All right, my friends. Take care. Until next time. Oh, next week we have Rave ABC starting Tuesdays and Thursdays. And we have Rave Cosmology starting on Monday. My personal booking calendar is now open to you if you would like to get a session with me. It is also um, detached from my, if you ever got one of those presentations from me where it's really involved and really in depth with videos embedded and everything, that's now separate on my website, humandesignlifecoaching.com. And for those of you who are now professionals that I might have trained in past, please write to us, office at humandesignlifecoaching.com. We do have an opportunity for you to be posting yourself on the humandesignsystem.com so that other people can know that you are a human design professional if that's right for you. Okay, so you know what to do now, hopefully. Like, subscribe, share, and until next time, I'll see you again, my friend. Have a great day. Namaste.